how are you guys tonight? You guys are live here on the Dixie Bell Paint Facebook and Instagram pages. My name is Brandy and I'm the owner and artisan behind Brush by Brandy. Um, and I'm a Dixie Bell Paint brand ambassador. And I get to paint here live with you guys every Thursday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern. So we are going to paint tonight. Um, and this piece behind me is what we're going to be working on. Um, my husband, Sean, is here, so if you guys have any questions while we're going along about anything you're working on or what I'm doing tonight, uh, feel free to pop on and answer those, and we'll get to everything we can. Otherwise, I do go back and read them afterwards, too. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is a vanity that I got. It actually has a mirror, and the mirror is sitting right behind me. I don't know if it's in the camera view or not. So, this is my mirror here, and what I've done to prepare these for paint so far is everything's been cleaned really well with Dixie Belle White Lightning Cleaner. Um, I removed all the hardware. Obviously, that went into this caddy. Um, so this has the mirror brackets and then all my hardware. And it stays in these caddies. I pick these up um, at Target or the Dollar Tree or whatever when uh, back to school time is coming, which is right now, guys. It's coming right now. Um, they have these C-Class caddies. And I can put hardware and then it all stays together while I'm working on the piece, I can even clean it in here. If I need to soak it, I can just soak it in this little dish so that it never has to come apart. I don't, this way I don't lose my hardware. Okay, so that's how I do my hardware. Um, and then I've given it two coats of gray boss from Dixie Belle. Can you do me a favor, run over to my trash can and grab those cleaning rugs I was using earlier? What? I just wanna show them. Come on. I wanna show you my cleaning rugs from this piece because I wanna give you guys a huge hint do I have to touch these? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can use whatever you want to grab them. You can, my bat towel looks like when I'm done. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> this was my clue that I needed to use boss on this piece. This looks disgusting, but they, these are dry, thankfully. These are my cleaning rags, you guys. This piece was not that dirty, by the way. This is not dirt. It was bleeding. So if you are wiping and your rags look like that, either... You need to check the house that you picked your piece up from because they had some, I don't know, it might have been a crime scene. But if it looks like this when you are wiping that piece, your piece is bleeding. And all of this stuff that's coming out when you're cleaning is going to leach through your paint too. So um, this was my clue that I needed to use Boss, which is a stain and odor blocking primer. If you have to choose, Boss comes in three colors, white, clear, and gray. Gray is always my first choice. I love the coverage of it. It gives awesome protection. Um, I can put light colors over it. I can put dark colors over it. I choose the gray. Anytime I can choose a gray, I will, that's my first choice. Um, the colors I plan on using on this tonight, I, I asked you guys what you would, were thinking. I'm actually working on the sister piece for this. I have a three piece set that I made Sean drive way too far to get this. Um, <laughs> Just making airplanes. It's, it's not bad. Um, so I'm going to have Sean pan over and show you guys the sister piece for this, which is a little three-drawer chest. And then you'll kind of have an idea where my head is coming from. So this is the piece that I'm working on alongside it. It is a three-drawer chest that I did in blues. And I want to use the same techniques, but different colors. So the colors I want to use on this is I want to warm this one up a little bit and I chose, I'm going to use Dixie Belle Apricot, which is the color of an apricot. I just added a little bit of water to this. My paints are extra thick because it's very hot and dry in California. We're having fires. We're in a heat wave. It's very hot and dry. My paints are extra thick. So I'm going to use um, apricot as my first color. Then I'm going to do a little mix of aubergine and muscadine wine. Huh? I said it right just for you guys. So I'm going to mix these in a little dish right here. And then my other color is going to be buttercream. And then I think I'm going to use a little bit of coffee bean just down on the bottom of the legs. So I'll have a four color combo, apricot, buttercream, coffee bean, and then let's mix a little bit of this plum color that I want to use too. Sorry, Dana, I saw just a brief line, but of course the comments flew by and it Bounces right up, so. Um, is there something pinned on there again? No, no. Okay. So, let's go ahead and mix my custom color. I'm just going to use, this is a little Dollar Tree bowl. I also will mix in my Dixie Belle containers, but these are pretty full, and I don't want to mix a full 16 ounces of this color. I think I'll only need maybe 8 ounces of it, just to do the small portion that I want to do. 
I want it to lean mostly towards the purpley. So I'm gonna start out, I think I'm gonna end up with about a 50-50 mixture, but I don't measure anything, so. So can I ask you a quick question? No. Okay, uh, yeah. It's just for me, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, do you have to use boss if you're going to paint with, like, the darker colors, like in yes. the navy or... Okay. Yes. I, I know, you know, you may not, you may want to skip that step. Darker colors can also discolor with lead through. And it'll show up like a yellowing, even if you think about it, black can turn a little bit yellow. So, I know that you want to, you want to get through and, and not have to do that step, but even dark colors can discolor. And you don't want to have, and it can be splotchy discoloration too. So you might have splotches where it's just a hint. It might not be as apparent as if it was white, but it's still going to be discolored. So if you know that your piece is going to bleed, I just put the, I would put the boss on there. Dark colors can bleed too. Looks like Gary's coming with a stir stick because hey, he's Gary. asking if it's a muscadine wine. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Gary, you're wrong. Just depends on the part of the country. <laughs> muscadine wine. Just stirring it up. Yeah. Okay, so I did end up with about a 50-50 mixture, and let me show you the color that I ended up with. This is uh, muscadine wine and um, aubergine. Aubergine? Can I say oh, aubergine? Gosh. How about that, Gary? Huh? Yeah, uh -huh. you, you don't like that. Take so that. Much. Okay, so this is the color that I, I end up with. I'm sure you guys I'm gonna stir it a little bit better. It. which is a really pretty plum color and i think this is going to go really well into the apricot okay <laughs> that's my color combination right there thank you for reposting it dana so sheila made the comment that she's in she Facebook, in Facebook jail. jail. She messaged me and she's like, I can watch, but I can't say a word. I'm like, oh, Sean's Tell the Colin Bournes I'm watching from prison. <laughs> Sheila got, was able to get from the commissary a, a TV <laughs> in her jail cell. She had, she, she had someone send her some cigarette money and she spent it on... How far right. did I drive for these pieces? Oh, what, what was like it? Two, two hours? Two and a half hours, yeah. I think. Yeah. Worth it. Worth it. Huh? It was so worth it to get a three-piece set, and these are gorgeous. All right, so let's start putting my colors on. I am going to go, I think, and this is my concept phase right here, you guys. I'm thinking I'm going to do the dark at the bottom, which um, will be coffee bean, and that'll just be on my legs, probably to right about here. And then it'll go into this uh, plum. We're going to call this plum. Uh, I don't know. What else would we call it? Aubergine wine? <laughs> No? Please okay. keep the jokes on this okay. side of it. Dad jokes only? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go into the Aubergine? Uh, Aubergine wine. <laughs> Down here, and I think it's going to kind of fan up the side. It's weird, I never met. And then it's going to meet up with apricot right here, like a Tinder date. They'll meet up together. Whoa. <laughs> and then they're going to move across the piece and I'll copy it down that side. What is that? I've never heard of that. <laughs> Aubergine wine? No. And what then kind I'm just going to use the buttercream. We'll kind of go here. I, I don't know. It's gonna work. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of make the buttercream it towards the center of the piece. That's where I'm going with it, guys. Right? I'm gonna use my masterfully mini. chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we'll in call in it. my brain, yeah. it all makes sense, but there's a lot going on in there. I'm gonna wet my brushes, you guys, for a couple reasons. Um, it is super hot. I can't say that enough. It, it changes your your conditions, change how your paint goes on. Um, so I'm going to wet my brush also because I'm going to be blending tonight and blending is really hard on my brushes. My brushes see some abuse. Uh, my paint's going to tend to dry because I'm going to use multiple brushes. I knew I could relate to your brushes. I really like to try to take care of my brushes, but it can be hard because I use multiple and when you set them down, they start drying. You just don't treat them right. <laughs> but can I tell you guys something? We just got a brush cleaner this week. We have a new Dixie Bell brush cleaner. I brought it out. Called Clean as a Whistle. You guys see that? My label's a little funky because I may have been using it already. But I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about our brush cleaner while I'm brushing this on. Because um, I think it needs some uh, instructions and um, I will work on some videos for you guys with the brush cleaner. Uh, the Clean as a Whistle brush cleaner is probably more of your deep clean. Uh, you can use it for your everyday brush cleaner, but it's really good for those really stubborn ones. The 
the ones that have had dried paint in them and they just need like a spa day. <laughs> Those. I think you talk to your brushes too much. <laughs> yeah. Are it's... you feeling okay? <laughs> How are you doing? Let's talk about you. Are you offended I didn't use you as much? <laughs> um. So those are the ones you want to let your, if you've got really stubborn grime on your brush, the old paint that gets dried in the bristles and they just need like their maintenance, um, let them sit in there for about 24 hours overnight. You can use it as your daily brush cleaner, but I'm going to talk to you about using it as your, like, your heavy duty brush cleaner. For daily brush cleaning, I like to use the scrubby soap. These are both available from Dixie Bell. Scrubby soap is my daily. I'm done with this brush. The paint is still wet. I just want to wash it. And then this would be for my, you know, deep down, stuck in the bristles, needs a maintenance cleaning, you know, need to take care of my brushes. It's also a good conditioner. I'm just going to walk this over here real quick. Oh, they want to see it again? Yes. Um, so I would soak it in pure strength overnight. You can add a little bit of water if it's just for a lighter cleaning. Um, it will tend to separate because it's got oils in it. It is non-toxic and, um, uh, let's see, biodegradable, non-flammable, non-toxic, no VOCs. Um, so it's pretty mild. Don't put it in a plastic cup, you guys. It can. Um, I think the oils kind of degrade the plastic. Can I take you a step back real quick? As far as your boss, what do you prefer? Why do you prefer the gray over the white? The coverage is amazing. How it, does it lay versus? It lays on so much better. I, it's like paint, you guys. It's like paint. Think of how much harder it is to paint with a white paint versus like a color, right? Whites are harder about everything. I will avoid white paint any chance I get too. So it's kind of like that. Um, the coverage is way better on the gray. I think it, it protects better in fewer coats. So white works great. Sometimes you need to do extra coats with white that I don't usually need with the gray. So I don't, I mean, I'm not saying the white is bad and there are plenty of times when you would want to use the white, but if you have the choice, choose the gray. Gray even works if you're painting whites. So even, I mean, I found, find myself very seldom using the white anymore since we got the gray boss. All right, I'm gonna start kind of brushing these together. This is apricot into my plum mix, and I'm just gonna brush them over each other. They're gonna create this kind of, I don't know, mauve. No, no joking. Okay, I'll wait. No, I know. I, I know you like that word mauve. Yeah, it's my mauve, favorite. Mauve. I don't want a lot of this color. It's really pinky. Um, I actually kind of want to diminish it. So I'm just going to freshen up the apricot and try to keep it pure apricot. I don't like the color those two make together. I'm just wisping my brush. I'm using a very light brush stroke, just kind of wisping those together. It makes it very pink. You guys see how it turned from more of the apricot into like a true pink color? That is not the color I'm going for. So I'm going to just minimize where they meet up. Those transitions will be very small. Use some water to get it into the crevices because this uh, this set has a lot of moldings on it, and the water helps the paint kind of find all those low spots, so I can get all around all this detail work. I always use a little bit of water when I have moldings, and I want the paint to just find it itself, and then I don't have to keep digging my brush into that stuff. I'm gonna true up this apricot again. All right, and then I'll bring the purple back up, and this will just be a little spot where they kind of blend together since that's kind of a funky color. It's not funky. It could be pretty on its own, but it's not what I'm going for here. And then I'm going to take, this is going to be my buttercream. I'm not doing the coffee bean right now. That's going to be just at the very bottom, but that's kind of a hard spot for you guys to see. The apricot into the buttercream is going to be a really pretty blend. So and there's the answer as to what white that is. Uh, Someone had asked, so it's buttercream. Yeah. I'm just waiting for you to bring it up. And then I'm going to make all these details come out in buttercream. So I'll keep my white consistent throughout this whole piece. If I use white, it will always be the buttercream. Okay, but buttercream into the, whoops, I dripped some of my white down here. I don't really want it on my brush. 
gosh. Um, that's going to be a really easy blend right there. When I come down into this plum, it's going to be a harder blend because it's a dark color. I don't want to dirty my brush, so I'm going to wait to overbrush that plum color until I've got all this covered. Because once I touch that, it's going to make my, that's a dark color, it's going to make my brush muddy with that plum color. I'm not ready for that yet. I'll wait till I kind of am. I'm going to carry this up a little bit just so I can carry it naturally across the center line. And I'm, let me get my apricot right up here. This is just my kind of rough draft coat. So I'm more thinking about my placement. This is where I'm going to feel out these color blends. Like if I really hated this color right here, this is where I would change my colors. But I think it's going to work OK. You're OK. I'm just going over oh. your shoulder. Well, you're bothering me. What else is new? You're I came with the vows. OK, so your brush cleaner that we were talking about, I would soak them overnight in that brush cleaner. It does leave a little bit of an oily feeling on your brush, and that's okay. It, you, it will still work with your paint, but if you don't like that, um, you can use Dawn dish soap to kind of get rid of it. It's like a conditioner. And I, I kind of like it. It's, it makes your bristles nice and soft, but if you don't care for that, you can wash that away with a little bit of Dawn dish soap, and that will take that feeling away completely. And you can, but you can just use your brush after that. Um, I'm going to tell you guys something. Yeah. Gonna, I'll probably have to show you guys this on video to make sense of it. <clears throat> I actually use a wire bristle brush, like a... For a um, toothbrush? For cleaning your teeth? Yeah, for yeah, just the wooden ones in the back. Can elaborate? Do you want to grab one of those wire brushes that huh? I got on the sink? I'm going to tell you guys this, and I am probably going to get some flack for it. It works really good though I use these to clean my uh, my brushes with so now I'm brushing I like I kind of like the buttercream into this plum color what you got yeah that one's a little <laughs> what you got what oh you, got? you don't want to know what I got <laughs> all right so that's pretty I like the buttercream into it I'm gonna have to kind of tend to this little blend carefully you guys, this is what I use to comb out my brushes, okay? And you guys are going to, I mean, you're going to give me flack for it. I will make a video and I'll show you that it works. Really quick, I just want to throw out, the question was, are you using a, single, a brush for each color? And I, yes, I can yes. pan down. Yes. So I have a brush for each color. So right now I'm at three colors. I'm at buttercream. I'm at my uh, plum mix. That's muscadine wine and aubergine 50-50 and then apricot. So each one has a brush so far. That's where we are. Okay, this is what I use to comb out my brushes, you guys. This one's a little worn. I have a few of them over there. Looks like it's never been used. It's a wire brush, and I will comb. Once I put the brush cleaner on, it's sat for 24 hours. Obviously, this one has not, but I will... I'm scrubbing the bristles clean. I'm telling you, I have lice combs. I have all the stuff. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> We'll talk later. <laughs> Don't go on the sheets. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Kidding. This works amazingly well. Uh, this one's chewed up. Uh, when they're newer is better, but I mean, I will just, I'm, I will scrub out and it kind of combs out and pulls all the paint out of my bristles. I mean, my brushes hey, are old, guys. Don't, we don't like no scrubs. <laughs> um, I have some of the very first brushes that Dixie Belle ever came out with and they are still in full rotation okay that's been years now so all right I'm just going to kind of feather these colors together a little bit they don't need to be perfect because this is just my concept phase what's that brush you're using by the I'm way I'm using the Dixie Belle mini this is my absolute favorite brush for laying paint on what do you guys think? Do you like this color combo? I really like this dark plum color. It is my favorite part of this combo so far. I really like the apricot too. I do not like the color they make when they meet up together. Well, Angie says you are the best uh, in the game. Uh, that's debatable. Oh, what's the game? So I kind of like this. What do you guys think? Anyway, 
I'm going to keep going because I'm not going to make decisions about it. I want to see it from a distance. Here's the deal. Um, if I'm doing new color combinations, I don't always know what it's going to look like until I try it, right? Unless it's something I've done before, and that's not always fun. Hold on a second. You're making me look to get in there make, and see what you're thinking. Making you the look The camera's bad. so close <laughs> you got, to your head. got a yeah. shot in my ear. Yeah. It's so weird. I saw the wall. <laughs> you can see I need the lice comb. <laughs> I can see it into the mirror. Um, Hello. No, lice combs are really fine combs that you can use for cleaning the bristles of your brushes. I swear to you, I promise you, the wire brush works better. You guys probably think I'm crazy and are like, oh my gosh, no. this is going to ruin my brushes. Not this time. Obviously, use it wisely. But um, I, I swear by it. Comb your bristles out with that. It takes all that dried off gunk off. Um, this is a, a vanity, so it has a mirror, but it's got the desk part. I always pay up underneath these too because certain angles you will see um, the wood peeking through. So I always paint up underneath when I'm doing a desk. I am painting with my drawers in right now. Don't do that again. I might have to cough. <laughs> go, go up underneath. <laughs> um, I need the paint to get in this little crevice down here up under this curve. So I just added a little water to my brush. Um, but I always paint up underneath. I'm painting with my drawers in right now. I will take them out and I always match around my frame. And that's because I need to get these smooth blends around all the edges of the piece. And I want to make sure where they meet up, it's continuous. Okay, so right about there, and then I'm thinking a little buttercream in the center right here. Whoops, that's a little too wet. I added some water to my buttercream, but apparently I added a little bit too much. You're a little too much. <laughs> Order lice combs and add them ship to the neighbor just in case the mailman talks. I have, ki hey, I have hey, kids. Hey, do what you do. Territory. Although I have boys and I've told them, like, you guys ever, you guys ever share a hat with somebody and come home with lice? Like, I'm not even... I'm not even batting an eye at a lice comb. I'm not, no way would I even order one. I'm shaving heads. Huh? I, I think even if we had girls, I still would be like, nope, not doing it. <laughs> You're getting a cool new haircut. That's my parenting style in a nutshell. Uh, I do all my kids' haircuts uh, anyway. This is not the only kind of blending I know how to do. I blend a mean, Whoa, a mean fade. You got too. the fade going. Yeah. Um, no, my I offer my kids all the time. Like I'll take you to the supercuts, but they they like mom haircuts. Plus, they, all, it, Leona's right. You got all kinds of compliments being thrown out. <laughs> yeah. They like my parenting style, or well, just your talent, the blending. So I, I'm using the same brush. I added my buttercream. I have barely any paint on this brush at this point. I've kind of brushed it all out. So when I overlap them here in the center, it just feathers them together. And this is this is just my concept phase. I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'll just make it kind of smooth. I don't want drips and things. And I usually do two coats blended the same way because then your colors are more saturated. Like they'll it'll set those colors in place and they'll be. Um, You're shirt? really digging those two colors together. I and really like the apricot and the buttercream together. This plum, I like it and I want to use it. I just need to figure out how it's going to work. Or do I replace the plum with something else? That's an option too. I could go lighter and go into like, oh, flamingo would be too bold. I don't know. I'll have to think on this. I'm struggling here. If, I'm going to take you out of this spot for a side. second. Um, if you were starting off, which two brushes would you recommend to start with? 100,000% the Dixie Belle Mini. I'm so glad you Honestly, don't deal with numbers. <laughs> yeah, my percentages are a little <laughs> off. I didn't do well in statistics class. It's like saying, I give 110%. <laughs> I would like, do ter what? terrible at, what's that game show where they say, we pulled 100 people. The most popular it's answer was, life. what 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 show is that? Family Feud? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, uh, definitely the Dixie Bell Mini. Honestly, you could do two of the Dixie Bell Mini. 
And when I say mini, it could be the mini or the mini angle. And the angle is the same brush. It just has a, a slight angle cut into the bristles. And I use those pretty interchangeably. So when they, I don't think they're available right now. I haven't checked the website in a while. Anyone, can, can anyone tell me if the brushes are available right now? Hello. The mini, I don't Mueller. think it is. So is this a, a piece for a client? No, these are gonna be available. This is just me playing around. Usually when it's for a client, I kind of have more direction because I've, I've consulted with them. We've exchanged photos of their room and stuff that they like and you know maybe their bedding or art that's gonna be in there. And I, you know, we, we go through the finishes, but when it's just me like this, I, I have to make decisions. And I'll tend to change your mind 15 change, ways change, from Sunday. Change my mind more. We'll start with this. And so, then next week we'll come in and it's a totally different color. I know a lot of people think that custom work is difficult, but I actually appreciate that you have another person to like bounce ideas off of. And um Oh, they may be out of stock. Time. Brushes are out of stock. Okay. Okay, when they're available, you guys, and I always post on my page when they come available. So on the website, uh, you can check with your local retailer and see if they have any in stock. Sometimes the retailers have the brushes even when the website doesn't. So that's good. Start with your retailer. Gary is a retailer. Um, you know, he was on tonight. Um, oh, he's on fire. He's on fire tonight. <laughs> well, it's comments. He's been drinking too much uh, Aubergine wine. <laughs> Um, so definitely the Dixie Belle Mini, even two of the Dixie Belle Mini. I can't speak highly enough about this brush. I have all the brushes of all the brands. It is my diehard favorite brush of everything I've ever used. They clean well. They last a long time. I know they are pricey, guys, but they are worth every stinking penny of it. Man, I love that. That combo is gorgeous. I'm feeling the apricot buttercream. We'll see where this plum ends up. I don't know. I'm not married to this. If it doesn't stay on huh? my final piece, I at least love the color. I just don't know if I love it here. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I keep going back. The mini and my other favorite is these here, the oval medium. And I use these for blending. Is this nope. okay for you? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I use these for blending. This is the oval medium. These are my two favorite brushes. Okay, but I'm not opposed to even blending with the mini. So if that's what you, you have, two of these, these are great. But the oval medium is a really nice complement. And let me show you, I'll give you an example. This is not my final coat, but how I would use this is I come back on my final coat when I really wanna work this blend out and I feather these together with this oval medium. And it's got this full brush head with really soft bristles. It just kind of whisks them. So my paint is almost dry. It's a little bit set up um, and I just kind of work those together. So that's how I'll do it on my next coat when I'm really trying to clean this up. Right now I'm just going for coverage. So the oval medium and the mini, without a doubt, my most used brushes uh, in the entire line. I love the uh, Bestang brush. That's a natural bristle option if you're looking for a natural bristle brush, and that's good for waxing. Uh, you can use it for getting some moody blends. It doesn't blend as smooth as the opal medium, but it kind of does like these cloudy effects working colors together. And if you struggle with blending, it is a lifesaver there. That's the best stain brush. Yeah, that apricot buttercream. Oh, you know what it is? It's peaches and cream. Peaches and herb? <laughs> you looked at me and knew where I was I going. It. I could read your mind. Oh. Now, all the details that are on this, you haven't added anything. No, this is nothing. All this the, is all original, original to, the to the piece. And I'm going to paint out all of this. Um, I feel like you're trying to talk over me. Yeah, you're bothering me. <laughs> it's all like you're in my head all the time. Um, I'm going to paint all of this. If um, I'll have Sean show you that other piece again. It's got all the details painted out. I just used my finger, you guys. I put it all oh on my gosh. with my finger. It is on video. If you guys go to my YouTube channel, there will be a video. It's not there yet. Tomorrow we have something else coming out. Because I'm not done with the piece yet, so we can't have a video yet. It's a really pretty color, and I want it to work. I just, I'm struggling with it. Maybe it's too, too much contrast. Is that where I am with it? 
I don't know. We'll see. I really like this color, and I like this color. I just don't know if I like them for this together. I, I'm trying to work this um, carefully because I don't want to create that like pink color. So instead of having a real blend here, I'm going to make it more of a, a really small line. Like this much of it will be blended. I don't want to make it this much because then I get I get the pink. And that is not in my, I'm, I'm not feeling the pink. And then this will go into coffee bean that way down at the bottom. Get some more buttercream on here. When I'm doing little spindlies like this, I use uh, these horizontal brush strokes. So I dig all into the sides and then I'm just gonna go over the face of it horizontally. Too much of a contrast. Too much contrast, you guys think? Is that what the vote is? Yeah. What else could I put there, though? A little flamingo action. Flamingo would be really bright. <clears throat> Everybody's digging your cup, by the way. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's from Target. That's all right. All right, I'm stumped. I'm kind of stumped here. What about, like, a gray? Sage green. Yeah, like dried sage, French linen. Oh. A gray, something like that might be better. Maybe like a um, hurricane gray, I'm thinking. So, um, I know sometimes it's hard because you can't always play around with all the colors, but that's kind of what the brand ambassadors are here for, is to give you guys these color combinations with all the kinks worked out already. So then you can choose colors and know that they're gonna work and know what they look like together. So even if you don't have this luxury, you have the luxury of having the Brandon Master team that kind of works out the kinks of some of these color mixes. Um, I'm gonna go all the way in under here and I will blend out all the sides of this too. I don't know, maybe I could, yeah, I will play around. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this color combination, but I love what's going on up here. So don't be surprised. I'm thinking the gray would be a really pretty option on here. Um, and I'm thinking like hurricane gray, French linen, something like that. So don't be surprised if you see the final version and this changes. It wouldn't be the first. The It's sister piece over there that ended up blue started out <laughs> black. It started out black, guys. You okay if I pan over there again? Yeah, go ahead and show that one again. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to take one at a time. So I think I'm actually going to stop using that plum color because I'm hesitating on it. All right, so this is what I was talking about. All this was done with my finger. I dipped my finger in buttercream and with it on my finger, I traced all this out, two coats worth. Really? Just my finger. Really? I Well, this... I. It worked best. Okay, fine. We'll use we'll use this That's one. That's because it's used a lot. <laughs> I mean, you could use whatever finger you want, but I used this one, and I traced all that out in buttercream. This piece started out in black, guys. I had it black fading into the white, and I was like, it's so harsh. So I lightened it up with the blues. It feels very like Scandinavian folk art to me. Um, all right, you guys, that was fun. I don't know. Sitting back, I love the plum. I love the apricot. I just don't know if I want them together. On this piece i want to soften it a bit so i'm going to play around with my color combination but you know what that one looks like now i love that 50 50 mixture of muscadine wine and aubergine love that mix that is one of my go-to it's it tones the aubergine down and adds puts more bread tones in it beautiful mix um all right you guys i'm going to pop off for tonight uh there will be a video on this it's going to be a couple weeks because i'm not even done with it yet i'm still working on it um, Sorry, I got the tower fan in the background. It feels really good though. It was <laughs> so hot. Um, I have AC getting installed out here. I broke and, and we uh, got the AC for my workspace. Check out the new brush cleaner. That's um, 
clean as a whistle. We also got this guy. You guys know what this is? Me neither. That's why they called it a thingamajig. This is the Dixieville thingamajig. And it really is like, what would you use this for? This is perfect for uh, silk screen stenciling. You can use it to scrape over the top of the silk screens. You can use it to get kind of scraped effects on your paint. It's a silicone spatula tool. And it does all these cool paint techniques. So some alternate ways that you can paint and get layering is to scrape over the top of your paint. That is the thingamajig, but it also works really well with the silk screens. So that and the brush cleaner are what we just got this week. So check those out on the website. Um, you guys can find any of the colors that I used tonight, which was apricot, buttercream, and then we did a 50-50 mixture of muscadine wine and aubergine. Um, I put my link up in, a, in the post, and I always appreciate purchases through there. That's what supports my business um, and coming in, making these videos with you guys every Thursday. Um, it tells Dixie Bell that I'm doing a good job or not. Um, so uh, you can also use that to find your local retailer if you want to go into a shop and see anything in person. Um, but I'm going to let you guys go. You guys have a great weekend. Stay safe out there. And I will catch you guys next Thursday.